Welcome to 45th Foo. My name is Oscar, and this is Mimi. Hi, we're here every Tuesday to give you fitness tips and advice so that you can stay healthy, happy, and moving well into your 40s and beyond. Why were we doing those moves earlier? Um, because they're fun. I was a beautiful butterfly, I hope. Exactly. We are talking about some prerequisites before you do some fancy movements like the butterfly kick. That's right. Last week we talked about jumping, so watch that if you didn't because this applies to the move here, the butterfly kick, which is a very sought after kick. I think everybody wants to do one. Everyone who sees it does. <laughs> but when you do it, then sometimes you're just like, you know what, it's fine. I'll stay on the ground. <laughs> well, it, like any other kick though, and this is something that I have taught a lot in my lifetime, it's actually a kick that I wasn't able to do for a long time. Even though I was a tumbler and I could do all these other things, I could not do the butterfly kick. So I feel like um, it's a move that I have been able to really break down and be able to help my students learn. It's kind of our signature move at Walmart right. as well. Right, yeah, and it's one of those things where, just like any other move, it's all about the steps that you take to get there. So if you do something like a butterfly kick, um, sometimes people just w look at it and then try to immediately imitate yeah, it. Yeah, and, and there are actually oftentimes, especially if they are younger and not 40 fit foolers, that they could probably do it. They could probably jump up in the air if they're athletic, um, you know, do the kick and land. However, they will pay for it in their 40s because I see a lot of people who did these tricking and all these things uh, on their own and try to learn from uh, watching something on YouTube and then have injuries later. So my thing is always, and yours, safety first and try to be injury free. Right, and it comes, it brings up a good point because what we hear a lot, and we, we hear it a lot now with people who are older than us, so they can't give us the excuse of being 40. <laughs> um, they say, well, you know, wait till you're 50. But when we were 30, we heard it from people, wait till you're 40. And when we were 20, wait till you're 30. And the truth is, I am in better shape than I've ever been. I can do more than I've ever been able to do. Granted, I have to take a lot more precautions and take care of myself, but the point is you can continue to progress as you get older as long as you meet certain requirements. That's right. So in particular for the butterfly kick, because everyone's like, are you going to teach us the secrets right now? I am, and it's called uh, be patient and work hard. So for example, Oscar was doing a golden chicken at the beginning of the episode and I was doing what I call a dragonfly hold. Uh, if you can't do either of those, then you're not ready to take flight. So this is like any of our other tutorials where we've talked about moves. There's a prerequisite. There's things you have to do before. I think last week we also talked about um, ground impact force. Right. And so that's, that's something we have to take into consideration as well because you are jumping. But to take something like the golden chicken, for example, one wouldn't think, okay, you're gonna practice butterfly kicks, well, let's see how well you do this first. So, for example, in order to do the dragonfly, you have to be able to do your golden chicken right. first, and it's kind of like really going backwards um, in order to learn your ABCs in order to do the move. So I know this is disheartening, because you guys thought, all right, let's go, we're about to do it, we're gonna jump fly in the air, um, but that's just not reality. And even for those of you who do already have an idea and can do it, my thing is it's still better for you to go back to the beginning and work your way forward because it really uh, gives you kind of a better sense of foundation. Yeah, there's, there's a layering that happens when you are learning skills that if you approach it correctly, you really fall in love, and this is something we talked about before, fall in love with the basics. So things as simple as what we call a golden chicken, or things like we, when we do our riding horse dance, or this is you know one of the, the, the steps to getting towards a, a butterfly kick, is trying to make sure that you spend more time in it, even after you've accomplished the move that you're trying to accomplish, going back to the foundational movements of that exercise, ingraining them more, perfecting them more, all that's gonna do is make the end move, something like the butterfly kick better. Yeah, so. so if you just saw a dragonfly and you guys can't do that yet, you have no business flying. You have no business being that beautiful butterfly you know you can be. Uh, so that's that's one thing. And this will be a shameless plug, actually. Do it. <laughs> shameless plug is if you're really interested in learning it, um, I'm in my 40s now, I can still do it. I don't practice it all the time, but because I built up such a strong foundation, if I ever need to perform it, it just takes me a little while, like, you know, maybe an hour to warm up. <laughs> it just takes me a little while to kind of get back into it because I have uh, done that foundation building. And so I am going to be offering 
drum roll, a very cool uh, butterfly tutorial course in which you can be coached by me personally. And I will be doing like video tutorials. It's a very specific uh, eight week program. And so I will talk about that more in the near future. But if it's something you think you're interested in really dedicating yourself to, uh, and you wanna take that challenge and you wanna master the butterfly kick, hit us up, email, let us know because I have a tutorial that is going to be releasing soon. So pretty excited Very about that. Very exciting and I'm beta testing it right beta now. Beta test, so you'll be seeing Oscar flying in no time. Hopefully you'll see the the end result soon. <laughs> all right, so that's all we have for you today. So if you're really interested in the butterfly kick, check out your golden chicken, check out your dragonfly pose, and then um, also sign up for my tutorial because it will actually really help you stay safe and injury free as you learn this really, really cool kung fu move. See you guys next week.